Hey y'all, happy Friday. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to another day in the life vlog. So, as I mentioned, it is Friday. We've got a busy, <clears throat> busy, busy day today. So I am on the way to Target to pick up some printer ink, color ink, and then also some printer paper. And then I'm going to go to the dollar store to get some... Actually, I'm going to check the price of poster board in Target. And if it's like less than a dollar or about a dollar, I'm just going to pick it up from Target. But what I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be doing this on my other channel next week, which is uh, Miss Green Eyes. I'm going to be doing a <clears throat> vision board. So I got to go get the supplies. And then I'm meeting a friend at nine o'clock. We're going to go for a walk. And then after that, um, I got to go home. And I got a bunch of stuff to do. Like we're going to be doing some, not meal prep, but veggie, not veggie, fruit prep. <laughs> um, I got to cook that. I got to, I got to make that crock pot lasagna. So I'll show y'all how I make that. And then there's some other things to do too. So I hope that you're all having a great day today. Whenever it is that you're watching this, I don't know why they have these things here. They're so weird. But um, I got to do a pickup because I got the ink and then I forgot. I was like, crap, I need printer paper. <clears throat> so I still got to go in anyways. And y'all already know I'm going to go in. I'm going to park back that way because I always park as far back as I can, especially if I don't have like a whole lot of stuff. So I'm going to tell them I'm here and get my printer ink. We're going to make us this dang vision board. I had one. I don't know if y'all know. I had one several years back. And I, I looked at it every day. I looked at it every day. I had it up on my wall. And then I was like, I kind of want to like do away with all this stuff. Because it was kind of cluttering it up. And I just wanted to like more streamlined. So I took it off and I put it in my closet. Didn't look at it anymore pretty much whenever it was in my closet. So then I went to go look at houses to rent. And I kid you not. I, I And something told me like when I went to go look at this house. Which first of all, I looked when I was at the street. Down the street, I remembered that I was down that street with the kids. Like a year or two back and I was like we're gonna live on this street we're gonna live if we don't live on the street we're gonna live in this neighborhood hold on hey how are you doing good how are you yeah thank you have a great day so um anyways Uh, I when I went to go look at the house I don't know why and what prompted me to go look at that I was like go look at that vision board and just see what it was that it the houses that you put on there looked like and damn it I will not I kid you not the freaking house was dang near identical the only thing is that it was flipped around like the garage on the the picture that I had on my board and I just like picked a random house that I really liked the outside of it was just flipped but it was identical and the kitchen was again damn near identical and I was like whoa whoa so anyways I'm gonna do that ish again um, I was talking about yesterday in my vlog where I built out this Escalade because I've been wanting an Escalade for years and I built it out on, on the Escalade's website and I, I picked this color that I don't see a lot of Escalades in and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And I was like, why don't I go print that out? Look at that ish every single day. Go look at some houses and put that and go... You know, say, I, well, I already know the neighborhood I want to live in. And I'm moving in August. I'm at this point where I'm like, whew, but it's going to happen. All right, let's go into Target. Look at there. It's actually cheaper here than it is at the Dollar Tree. Because it's no longer at the Dollar Tree. Let me get this one. The super word. Secured. Now printer paper. We'll be good to go. Let's see, it said B3. Here we go. Right here. Alright. Which one do you want? Cheapest 
so we can get 529. That's vision board making. Here we go. Hey, so I am back. We walked for so long. Look at my steps, y'all. Look at my steps. I'm currently making my crock pot lasagna. If you want to know the recipe, I will actually post it from TikTok on here in a few. Um, one suggestion. There are my steps right there. It's not even, it's not even noon yet. And I'm almost, I'm almost at 10,000 steps, 9,482. Boom. Uh, someone did suggest on TikTok when I make this little ricotta and mozzarella cheese mixture to add basil. And she was like, thank me later. And I was like, ooh, girl, yes. So I knew I was making it today and I was like, I cannot forget. I have fresh basil here, basil plants. So anyways, I'm cooking this. And then I was also, because I'm hungry, like I'm hungry right now. And I was going to go ahead and make my ranch dressing. I think I'm going to go ahead, no, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and then I'll make the ranch dressing with y'all. But I'm making a burger bowl for lunch. I made one last night and I swear to you, I gobbled that thing down. And when my kids had their burgers with their buns, I didn't even miss it. Didn't even miss the bun. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So I'm gonna show y'all how I made it, the ingredients I put in it. And I'm gonna show y'all how I make my homemade ranch. That's all I've been doing. It's so freaking good. Like it is better, well it's not better than restaurant ranch, but it's better than the light ranch that you get in the container. And it's also better than the Bolt House Farms ranch. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this right now. I'm gonna go ahead and play the the footage of the TikTok of me doing this, so y'all can see if you want to make it. I'm having company tonight. I already told y'all. And yeah, I'm gonna get to this, and then we will make the ranch together. And I'm gonna throw while I'm doing this. I'm also gonna throw some bacon in the microwave so it can crisp up as well. Cause we're putting bacon. Cause we're doing cheeseburger bacon cheeseburger burger bowls. Mm. First, you're gonna need one pound of lean 97 93 seven ground beef, that out of ham. You're gonna throw some chopped onion. This is linked to my Amazon storefront, and if you don't have one, you need one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm also going to add some garlic, and we're gonna cook this up. So if you don't have one of these meat choppers, you need one. Again, linked to my Amazon storefront because everyone needs one of these. I love, love, love it. I'm the queen of multitasking, so while that's going, I'm gonna take part skim, one cup of part skim ricotta cheese, put it into a bowl that in a bowl. To that, you're going to add one cup of part skim mozzarella cheese and just mix this together. Until it looks like this. To the meat mixture, you wanna add a 28, can, 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of basil, and just stir and mix all that together. Now the fun part, time to start assembling. I'm gonna take, I took some of the meat mixture and just covered the bottom. I took three uncooked lasagna noodles, broke them in half, and we're gonna take half of this mixture. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So first, take your three broken noodles and just top the meat with the noodles. It should look like that. Spread half of the ricotta mozzarella mixture on top of the noodles, like so. Add in another third of that meat mixture, and repeat. Ricotta, like so. And the rest of the meat goes on top. Cover and cook on low for four to six hours. When it's done, take half a cup of mozzarella, half a cup of shredded parm, and put it over top, and let it cook for 10 minutes. This is what I used. When it's cooked, sprinkle that cheese, let it cook for 10 more minutes to get all melty. Oh my God, this is amazing. You need to make this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make my ranch. Let's see, I need a tablespoon. And then I need my scale. And these are the exact measurements that I use. Hold on, I think it's good. I'm like shaking a little bit. I need to go ahead and eat. 
I'm letting that sauce sit. The only thing that I added to the sauce that I did not talk about and I did not add in the recipe video was I added some fresh basil and then I also added some garlic powder. I was like, why is there no garlic going into the sauce? Absolutely not. So anyways, for this ranch, you wanna take 75 grams of fat-free, plain Greek yogurt. 75 grams. Okay, that's what it looks like. And then I will go ahead and Did I make, no, I, I know I made something else for you and I was talking about Dukes is the elite, Dukes is the best. Don't fight me on this, go get you some Dukes. But we're taking 15 grams of light Dukes mayonnaise and we're putting that down into the mix. 15 grams is one serving. And then I take whole milk. I wanna go get some buttermilk. Next time I think about it, I'm gonna get some buttermilk so I can make try some buttermilk ranch. But I just do a tablespoon, y'all. I'm shaking, I need to eat. Um, tablespoon of whole milk and then I will do a tablespoon of the ranch powder mix okay now this is going to be higher in calories than your bolt house farms and all of that however this is going to taste so much better and it's higher in protein therefore it is going to fill you up more. Okay, now depending on how much, the consistency that you like this to be, I don't like thick ranch. So as you can see, the way that it is right now, it comes out to be pretty thick. If you like it this way, keep it this way. Me, personally, I have a lot of water, so I'm gonna add it that way. I like to add some water, and I just kind of, I don't have an exact measurement. I just kind of add until I get the consistency that I like. Now I do try to make this like 20 to 30 minutes before, just so the flavors can combine and marinate, get, you know, marry each other, get to know each other, become best friends. But if I don't have the time, it doesn't need to go in the fridge. I do like to try to make the time or like try to make it beforehand if I think about it. But yeah. Put a little bit more in so that way we have a nice dressing and we have a nice here's the thing i love about this too is the fact that yeah it's higher in calories but if you think about full fat ranch how little do you get for like 110 calories 150 calories however much it is this is a probably about 150 calories but look at how much you get you're not going to need five you know five servings of this to, to you know coat your salad this is literally all you need. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get my burger bowl ready. Oh, y'all, that lasagna is gonna be so good tonight. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. Okay, we are now gonna get started on our burger bowl. Now you can, the beauty of these is like however you like your burger. Do you like onions? Okay, add onions. Do you like avocado? Add avocado. Do you like eggs? Add egg. Do you like tortilla strips? Add tortilla strips. Do you like bacon, cheese, tomato? Add whatever you like. I love these kind of recipes because girl, you go crazy. Okay, so this is what I got. Shredded romaine lettuce going down. This is one of those high volume, I'm gonna tell you the macros It'll be on the screen for my exact salad, including my salad dressing. But with this romaine, girl, I add. I, like, I make a big salad. Like I said, I have a lot of salad dressing. I also have a very big appetite. And I also went for a pretty, not intense walk, but it was a very long walk this morning. So, so we're gonna make us a big salad. So into the salad mixture. Y'all know I weigh mostly everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a serving of this cheese. This is the reduced fat Fiesta blend and I'm gonna do 28 grams. I don't know that I have 28 grams in here. And if not, oh, perfect. I don't exactly want to do this yet, but what I add are these French fried onions. You guys, these 
are freaking amazing. I add in 22 grams of the French fried onions. I'm just gonna put it on the plate because like I said, I like to add this at the very end on the very top. Into this bowl, I'm gonna cut up half of this tomato because of course, on my burgers, I like to have bacon, lettuce, tomato, and onions. So I'm gonna cut up about that much. It's a little more than half. I'm just gonna do a little bite, bite size pieces. If I had cherry tomatoes, I would do cherry tomatoes, but I finished those last night in last night's burger bowl. So I just add this to the top. I don't want that end. Oh, I usually salt my tomatoes. Did I salt them last night? I can't remember. I'm gonna go ahead and salt it though. I salt my tomatoes and I also salt my avocado. I just do, don't ask. I think it tastes really good. And I drink a lot of water, so. I feel like it balances each other out. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my crispy bacon. Yummy, actually no. I'm gonna take some of this red onion. I'm gonna go ahead and get the cutting out of the way. So I take maybe like, I don't know. I don't want it to be super overwhelming with onions. So I'm gonna take about four little curves, I guess of this red onion and I just kind of finely chop it. So I just take it and I just like chop little, little bits like so. Let me know what has y'all's favorites? Have you tried something new lately that you've become obsessed with? If so, leave it down in the comments down below and share with us. I have literally been so obsessed with the protein puddings. As a matter of fact, I'm making, I've already made myself because I make, I make them in batches now where I do two at a time because I only do half of a serving now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add this onion down into the bowl. But I asked my friend, I was like, do you like pudding? Because you know, some people don't like pudding because of the texture or whatever. And she was like, oh yes, I love pudding. She was like, make me the banana pudding. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I got sugar cookies for the kids and I gotta make her a banana pudding and we're gonna enjoy us some banana pudding. But that has been, I have been obsessed with that banana pudding, even over like the Reese's, even over the Oreos, like that banana pudding, oh girl, I have been obsessed and I've been adding like actual chunks of bananas. Oh, like I've been slicing up a banana, not of like a quarter of it. And it's been so good. And then I take the Nilla wafers. If y'all wanna see that recipe, go watch last week's Day in the Life vlog. But yeah, delish. So anyways, I'm just taking my bacon and I'm just, with my hand, just kind of uh, tearing it apart. And then I got my ham hamburger patty. I just warmed it up in the microwave for like 30 seconds or so. It's already cut. It's not like cold, but it's definitely room temperature, but I don't care. So break this up, cut it up, however you want to do it. These are lean hamburger patties. So this has 170 calories in this patty. And I'm just gonna put it down in there. And like I said, add what you want to this girl, like whatever you like on your burgers. And if you like Big Macs, then go with a light thousand island or make your own. And then I will just go over top with those French fried onions. Delish. Tell me that doesn't look freaking amazing. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. Oh, it is so freaking delicious. All right, I'm actually gonna go fill up my water bottle and then we're gonna pour the ranch over and then we'll take a test, taste test together. I'm like all over the place today. Okay, so I got me a full water. Oh, oh my legs, y'all. Whew, that walk. Whew, all right, I'm sitting here. Let me tell y'all, non-scale victory. Hold on, hold on. Let me do this real quick because I want y'all to see my face when I say this because I'm excited about this. All right. Here's this delicious, like seriously, give it another look. Like look at how pretty this is. All right, we're gonna drizzle our homemade ranch over top. You wanted like more nutrients too. You could totally add in some spinach with the romaine. However you like. I'm just gonna mix this together. And now it's not gonna look so pretty, but it's gonna taste really, really, really good. Look at that. 
look at that. Yes, girl, yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Y'all need to make this, let me know if you do. I mean, it's perfection. I could literally, literally find this. Mm. I could easily pay like 15 bucks for this at a restaurant. It is so good. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna eat this salad and then we're gonna get into this kitchen and we're gonna clean because I got dishes to do. <sighs> I wanna clean these uh, stools um, and vacuum them. I wanna clean out, like wipe out, like clean, clean out the sink. And I, I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do this stainless steel. And I think that's everything. I have a list of everything I wanna do, but yeah, we'll do some cleaning. Baby, when you hold me, I rather lost my senses than be lonely. Cause baby, when you touch me, I feel holy, though nothing in the world will, oh, will kill me as long as I got you. I was running from myself those days. Always breathless, search for something safe. And then I smashed into that golden face. And for the first time, I don't run away. We danced together till we got it right. Ups and downs through many days and nights. You appear to be my guiding light. And at the same
so pretty and shiny. Ooh, woo. it won't last long, but she looks good right now. Boy, I don't need that much, need that much. How can I tell you what I want to do? I never needed you to give me. Okay, so now, this right here, I always use this for my feet. As you can see, it is gone. But your girl's on a budget because we gotta get brakes, rotors, and tires, which y'all know is expensive, but I'm also trying to get this cruise in June. No, I'm not trying. I'm going to get the, the cruise for June. So with that being said, we can't be going to bed and body work spending when we already got lotion. So I'm gonna go ahead, try to squeeze as much of this out as I can, which doesn't look like much. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and cut this open. Get out as much as I can, but then I'm also going to cut it open. Ooh. Oh, there's more in there than I thought. But yeah, I'm going to go cut it open because I have this little spatula, which I will link down below because everyone needs one of these. It gets all of your product from all of your booty products, so you don't waste any of it from foundations to face creams to lotions, all of it. So I'm going to get some scissors and cut this. Let's see how much is left in here. Not a whole ton, but all of that would have been wasted if we didn't have this cute little spatula. So let's see if there was, there was probably none up top. But there's a little bit up there. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of this. And then what I'm going to do well, actually, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Because I have this stuff. It's Nivea Orchid Argon Oil. It's not like thick. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit so I can just mix them together. But I don't love this because it's really thin. And this, for the most part, is there's a little bit more. Like right here, I can take out. For the most part, that's all empty. That's all empty. And that's all empty. Ta-da! There we go. You say it's special.
get my reading in and let, get that done. Then, from there, I can um, I can get my workout in. Oh my god. I, I keep seeing more and more and more stuff. It's like, oh, there's this. Here's this. These goggles need to go away because it's like, I don't really care this much. <laughs> but I'm like, I might as well go ahead and do it since it's getting done, you know? <sighs> okay. I think that's it. Oh, no, this is a mess too. Going up, I'm done. I'm just grateful that I can clean because there was a time when I couldn't. You know what? There's something else that I need to clean. It's a kid's mess. Of course, what else is new? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm grateful for my kids' messes. Um, hold on. This right here, control back in. I think it was either November, no, it was December. It was right before the cruise. I had gotten them those little candies that are like liquid jelly. It's really weird. People eat them on TikTok like whole or like put them in their mouth whole. Anyways, I want to say he was, yeah, he was doing that. And it literally got everywhere. And he obviously didn't do a good enough job cleaning off the door, which is fine. So I'm actually going to, oh, it's right here too. And right here. I'm not doing this for guests, by the way. I had this in my to-do list beforehand. But because I have guests, like guests coming over, now I'm like overly critical. Like, oh my gosh, there's this that needs to be done. And this needs to be done. Hold on. Okay, I'm doing one more thing, y'all. One more thing. I didn't know that this was that easy to pull out. Well, it might not be. It is easy on this side. It was starting to get easy. What the hell? Yeah. I need to go ahead and pull this junk out. It is so nasty behind here. So, uh-uh. That is so dusty and so gross. Do y'all wanna see this? It's so nasty. Oh, sorry. So all of this on the side needs to be wiped down. And then look at the back. Look at how dusty this is. Do y'all see it? Why is that not connected to the side? Like to the back of the fridge? I don't know. And then look at that. Oh, that's nasty. All right, well, we're about to do this too. And then when my son gets home, I'm going to see if he can like lift this up while I get these little crummies that are right there. That'll make me real happy. Boy, you really need to understand that I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend. No, I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend. All I wanna tell with my girlfriend's girlfriend. So I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend. No, 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 no. Girlfriend, girlfriend. No, 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 no. Girlfriend, girlfriend. No, 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 no.
So I just took the stove out. First of all, look at the side. Kind of nasty. Actually, it's not that bad. Look at this. This is disgusting. Uh-oh. Is that supposed to go like... Uh-oh. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get that right back. <laughs> or this thing back. Look at how nasty it is on the side. Oh. That is gross. All right, we're about to get it done. Think we lost all, but who will take the fall? Who will win it all? You know the cost, still you go through walls, keep on acting small. Even if you got something left to lose, even if there is something. First of all, the camera died, but oh my gosh. I used to lay on that couch and look at all those crumbs and be like, I wish I knew how to, it, it was so easy. It was so easy. Now at the, the house that I lived at, I didn't know how to pull out that fridge. So we could never like deep clean like that, but oh my gosh, it looks so good. And I'm so glad that I did that. Okay, I'm for real gonna go lay down for a little bit and read my book. And then I gotta go do that arm workout and then I gotta get ready so I can look presentable for my guests. All right, I'll see y'all. I did not plan on doing all that, but I'm glad that I got it done because it feels so good that I got it all done. Something left for you to prove I got bad taste of hanging around you see what this looked like I mean maybe you did but oh my gosh I can't tell you the last time I've done this it looks so pretty look at how high gloss shine this is uh, I still need to figure out how to get these things off so if you have any tips let me know because I would love to see this completely clean with all of that gone. I was trying with my little, it's not like a razor tool, but kind of. This thing is so dingy, but wow, that looks good. I'm like, I should use this. I bet I could use this in the sink too, to make it like super high shine, but oh girl, my house looking good. All right, I still have not read. I like sat down for like five minutes. And then I was like, go do that, go do that. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get my arm workout done. I'm just gonna do a Chloe Ting. Like I said, I'm not going to the gym, excuse me, the gym. So I'm just gonna stay here. And I am going to, I'll show you what I do. But it's a non, you don't use weights. You just do your own body weight. I'm gonna do this one. So no equipment. I did this one a lot when I did 75 hard. And then I will probably do this one. So that is what we're about to do. 
20 minutes of arms. Here we go. Trying to get to you when you're on the low. Trying to get to you when it's on the line. Had enough, had enough, had enough. Trying to tell you that it's time to give it up. Trying to tell you that you're never gonna shine. It's enough, it's enough, it's enough. But when you're going down, falling to your knees, it's time to believe. Okay, so I don't know that I love this. I feel like this is actually. Can you believe it? Like a little too big. Like it just gives me like no shape at all. And I feel like I look kind of boxy. So I'm probably going to change that. But y'all, I have not worn jeans and I can't tell you when. I also have not worn these shoes and I can't tell you when. I also don't know the last time I wear my hair straight. It's nasty. Like it so needs to be washed, but I'm just like, whatever. Like it is loaded down with dry shampoo. But... I feel cute and I'm ready for my guest. The only thing I need to do is, by the way, this is my makeup, which I've, I've been wearing, I wore makeup all day today. I just needed to touch it up a little bit. But, um, what I, uh, what was I saying? I just need to put a bag of lettuce into a bowl, cut up a, cut up a tomato, have it sitting out on a cutting board, start cooking the garlic bread. And that's really about it. Leave out some salad dressing, some croutons. There you go. There you have it. It's all done. I actually need control to go ahead and do the dishes too. But yeah, I did not intend to get into that kitchen like I did today, but it just, it feels so good. Y'all, let me tell you, it's 430, okay? I have 13,240 steps. I don't know if y'all can see that. Who am I? And I'm like, I still have energy for more. Like, let's go. Let's go do the dang thing. So I don't know. It feels really good. But I will say these jeans are tight AF. And they should not be. Like, what it's, what, what's on the scale and all that, these jeans should not be. So I think that they need just some sitting down. Hold on. Because I want to go put on another shirt. But I think that they need me to just, like, sit down. Do you see? This just doesn't, like, give me, I don't know. I just don't feel really comfortable in it. But these jeans need me to sit down. Okay, so I have this shirt, which is a little more, I don't know. But this one might be too small on me. So let me try this one on and see. Mm, see, I don't like the way that clings. And especially with these jeans being too tight right now and they need to, like, stretch out. And for me to wear them, I feel like, see, this is my issue with, like, like, I should just go ahead and put my workout clothes back on because I just, it's frustrating. But I keep telling myself, it's okay because you're working your tail off so that this won't be a problem anymore. And you can put on a cute outfit and it's like, oh my gosh, it fits. Everything in my closet freaking fits me versus everything in my closet barely fits me. Like, it just fits me but not good enough for me to be comfortable in. Um, maybe I'll just go put that shirt back on. Okay, and then here's this one. This one's a little bit better. Like, it shows my shape a little bit more. Still not loving this part. I think I'm just going to wear that white, that black shirt. I don't, I don't feel good in any of this. Okay, we're going to stop with the negativity. And we're just going to get something on real quick. Feel somewhat comfortable. Not put our workout clothes back on even though that's what I really want to do um just put on some new workout clothes but I'm not going to do that all right so this is what we're going with I don't love it but it, it is what it is and we got to work with what we can work with right now but this is why I say and people judge me for this but I don't care like a big reason why I want to lose this weight is so that I can dress cute again like there's obviously other reasons but a really big one is so I like, I just want to look cute in freaking clothes again. And I just feel like I love myself. 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 I will see y'all when I get everything set up so y'all can see. And then obviously I'm not going to vlog while they're here. 
but I will come back and tell you how it went. Okay, so I got everything all set up. Parmesan cheese for the lasagna. Tomato. I need to get some salt and pepper. Hold on. Okay, so Parmesan cheese. And then we've got, oopsie. Cucumber, tomato, lettuce, the little things. Bowls, plates, silverware. And then for the salad, I got mozzarella cheese and then also Fiesta blend cheese and a variety of dressings. Got some <laughs> croutons. I'm like, why? Why can't I? I'm drawing a blank. Salt, pepper. And I'm eventually going to move this from here over to the island over there. So everything's going to be like easy access. And then we have garlic bread that's in here cooking and I'm gonna put it in this little bowl. So it's all gonna be set up right here so everyone can serve themselves. They can eat where they want, either in there, here, or in there. I'm so excited. I love hosting people and I love doing this, but I never really had the opportunity to do it being like a single mom. I don't think I've had anyone over for dinner. Have I had anyone over for dinner other than grandma and papa, like ever? I don't think I have. Like since being single, I don't think I have. Um, especially, definitely since COVID, I haven't. Like I've had like parties for them and stuff, but it's never been like, hey, come over, eat dinner. So I love doing stuff like this. I wish I had some like prettier plates and bowls, but you know what? That's that's not that's not important. Like what's going to be important is the good food, laughs, getting to know each other, all of that. So. I'm excited. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this day in the life vlog. I hope you enjoyed my accidental deep clean. I literally just had on my list to clean out the sink and like wash it out real good and then to clean and vacuum the counter stools. And that was it. And that turned into pulling out the fridge, <laughs> mopping behind there, sweeping, vacuuming, pulling out the Y'all saw what I did, wiping down cabinets. Oh my gosh, look at how many steps I have because when my friend came over, she wanted to take a walk after dinner and so we did and then we also went to Target. My feet, whoo, my arches. I wish I had a man or someone to rub my arches right now because they could really use it. Okay, where's my activity? I have fifth, over 15,000 steps, you guys. Over 15,000 steps. I walked over seven miles today. Like, are you kidding me? What? By the way, my lasagna was bomb. It was so freaking good. My banana pudding, bomb. So freaking good. What else did I make? Oh, salad, garlic bread. It was delicious. So thoroughly enjoyed the day. Hey, Bells. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. It is nine o'clock. I'm ready to go pass out. I'm ready to go pass out. But yeah, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see y'all on Wednesday with a weigh-in and it should be really freaking good because y'all let me just go through it real quick hold on today which is friday 15,000 steps thursday 10,000 steps i literally so i think about eight or nine i was at 8,000 steps i literally walked around my kitchen and my living room until i got over 10,000 steps like i am determined Wednesday, 10,129. Tuesday, 10,044. Monday, 11,340. So I'm telling you, I am determined. I am like, I better have a freaking three. If I don't have a three pound, it's going to be fine. But I'm really hoping because I have not. I have way increased my activity. I have not increased my calories at all. They're still the same this week as they were last week. So this scale better drop like a good three, four pounds. Just say it. Uh, anyways, I love you guys. I will see you on Wednesday, though. Make sure you check in to see how much I did lose this week. This, this week, how much I did lose this week. 
Um, I plan to also get in about 10,000 steps tomorrow, but we'll see. I'm not going to push myself because I am, I can tell I'm pretty, I'm, I'm wearing my, my body down a little, a little bit. Anyways, love you guys. Have an amazing day and I will see you on Wednesday with a weigh-in. Bye guys.